Jesus, what did I get myself into? <laughs> Uh, I'm hoping to do the uh, same thing as this in the Lehigh Valley starting in May and uh, so I thought I'd better tell a story, you know, if I'm going to play the game, I better play the game, walk the walk. Um, so I grew up in Northern Ireland, uh, just outside Belfast, and uh, it's a very cold country. Have you ever been to Belfast or been to Northern Ireland? Last week, last week was a very dry week, it only rained twice. Once for three days and once for four days. So when you grew up in Northern Ireland, we crave sunshine and a warm country and we want to go somewhere that's really nice, somewhere that will give us the good vibrations that we're looking for. And so most of us go to Spain, right? Spain, short plane ride. So 30 years ago, actually 40 years ago, uh, my first girlfriend and I saved up our money to go to Spain. Tormelinas. That's like the Costa del Sol. That's where all the crazy people from the British Isles go for their summer holidays. So anyway, we saved up, we, we got on the plane, we flew over to Spain, and in those days there were none of those jetway things. There was a ladder, like a walkway that you came down. Um, and so getting off the plane, standing there, and the jets were right over here, and I'm thinking, Jesus, that's warm. <laughs> And I walked down the steps and realized it wasn't the jets, it was a warm country. <laughs> Took a little bit getting used to. Uh, so the first day, out by the swimming pool, and uh, you know, white Irish skin, 200 degrees centigrade sun. And uh, there was a group of people who were from Belfast who, you know, were very loud and noisy and we tried very hard to not let on where we were from so they wouldn't talk to us, you know. And it was one of those places where you got a nice wooden sunbed and it had these wooden racks on it and you rented, you know, a cushion and you lay on the cushion all day long and the cushion cost like, I don't know, one pound or something for the day. Well, these people were too cheap. They didn't rent a cushion. So at the end of the day, when they were walking off, they all had the red and white stripes on their back. And that's how we knew they were from Northern Ireland. We had a lot of flags there, you know. So anyway, the place we stayed in uh, was this rotating, a building that had no steps, but it had this sort of spiral walkway that went around to the top. And uh, we had this really nice room. and. Uh, the first day we got into the room, we loved it, you know, and we came out and we met this German couple who were smiling at us. We could feel the vibrations from them. They loved us. They were smiling at us. We saw them every day for 13 days. Every time we saw them, they laughed, they smiled, they kept looking at us, big grins on their face the whole time. We felt the vibration coming from them. It was so fabulous. We were making friends with people from Germany. <laughs> On the last night, um, my girlfriend felt a little sick, and so we decided to go to bed early. And lying in bed, now a young couple, and it's their first time away, you can just imagine what was happening for 13 days. <laughs> from away from Northern Ireland, away from our parents. They had gumball machines in the bathrooms. <laughs> there was a lot of tantric, energy going on, and lying in bed, I noticed this beam of laser light going across the room. I thought, that's very strange. So I got up, went over, took a close look at it. We had no lights on in the room, realized it was the hall table, had these two tubular steel pipes that went through underneath the table, and evidently went through to the room next door with the German couple, our friends. So, of course, being a little suspicious, I knelt down and took a look through, and their lights were on, and I could see them walking around. I thought, wow, I'm gonna come back tomorrow here and take a look and see what's happening, you know? And so the next morning, um, got up out of bed, got dressed, got ready to pack her bags and go home, and thought, ah, oh, I forgot about the, uh, the hole in the wall. So I got down, peeked through the hole in the wall, there was an eye looking right at me. 